What's up, everybody? It's your boy CJ back again with another Pokemon Showdown live session. Oh, you yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Okay, I believe he probably wants to lead off with probably Landorus or maybe his Breloon to put someone to sleep. So I think I'm going to go out to tank. And he brings in Landorus. Now the question is, I mean, if I go for Ice Beam, he's probably going to bring in... Actually, Ice Beam is probably just the best bet to go for, the best move to go for. Because of the fact that he's going to U-turn out probably into um, Heatran. Or Bread Loom. Wrong choice. And down goes the Bread Loom. Now, what do he want to do next? That was the wrong choice for him to do that. He brings in a Latios. Let's go. I I, I want to know. I want to think. Should I stick with Ice Beam or Dark Pose? Let's go for Dark Pose. Thunderbolt. I took it. Life Orb. And down goes a Latias. Now you can just bring in um, Landorus and actually take me out with an um, U-turn. I mean, because it's, 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 a safe, it's a safe play. It's the safest play. Now I go for a Water Pose just because if I just magically were to live it. But he's going to U-turn out into the Keldeo. Well, with Keldeo being, you know, the water fighting type that he is, I could go into Delphine Boss, but I don't want to do that. Talonflame could have braver, but he can bring into Landorus. Um, I got Ice Fang, Crunch, Head Smash. It's confusing a little bit because, I mean, with Keldeo... It's pretty fast, and I, I, I mean, really trying to think who I should go, who I really should go into. You know, what, let's go lane. Let's go Tyrantrum. Let's go Tyrantrum, and let's go for the. Uh, let me think. Let me think. Go Dragon Claw. Let's go Head Smash. And I think I, I think Head Smash probably was not the best move to go for. I think, and then I missed. Oh my goodness, Head Smash. Now I lose my Tyrantrum. Let's go for Ice Fangs. I might well just bring in. I'll make sure I I'm gonna make sure I say that right. Brings in the heat trend. Well, I miss. I mean, I miss because of my accuracy is not because there's nothing he did. The there's nothing I think he did that magically made me miss. Let's go with a flamethrower. The accuracy, dang it. I need to move my thing. I need to move the old recording thing out of the way. The accuracy is 80%. Hey, no, I think it's 80. Or, is it 80? Dang it. I forgot he had flash fire. Oh, I'm so stupid. So stupid. I forgot this thing had flash fire. At least he can't burn me. But I just powered up his fire type moves even even further. Let me take your leftovers from you real quick though. Oh, that was so stupid, man. I knew this thing had flash fire and I just straight up went for it. That was so stupid on my part. I was not. I was. I was. That's something I like. I legitimately said I was not thinking. I was not thinking whatsoever. Uh, two protects. Save his heat trend. And bye bye, Foxy Brown. Well, next pro best Pokemon to go out to is Doctor. Uh, I don't want to go for High Jump Kids exactly. Was especially what he's going. Basically, what he's doing. Let's go for a Zen Headbutt. Lando come in. Ice Punch would have been so good too. The yeah, Ice Punch would have bopped this thing and it would have been gone. Oh, man. I was doing good, but now everything's falling apart. Okay, two Ice Punches. Yeah, two Ice Punches. Dang, two Ice Punches would have been enough to knock out the Landorus. Now, Zen Headbutt at 26. I think I'm just going to go for a Zen Headbutt because I think he probably wanted... Oh, it's possible he wanted to keep Lando alive. Yes, Keldeo. And then, oh, man, Keldeo lives that. Um, let's go for another Zen Head. No, let's go for the Ice Punch. Let's go for the Ice Punch. 
Nice prediction for me. Scald, I cannot live that. Now, Pyroar. I don't know. No, I have to bring in Talonflame. Talonflame will still knock it out. Um, no matter what, Talonflame will knock out his um, Landorus. But he gets up the Intimidate, so I'm weakened just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Just a tad bit. Let's go for the Roost. Get my health back. And now let's go for that Brave Bird. See if I can get Titan Thing it. He wants to go for the Protect. Ah, oh, man. Let's go for a Roost. I think he want to go for a Dura Protect. And let's go for Brave Bird. Yep. Oh, man. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Tell you, there was no way Tom was going to knock out his heat train. That poison, that toxic. Doing so much damage. Pyro, it's all up to you, man. I mean, I, don't, I know you can't do it, but you got to just do what you can right now. Let's go for the Dark Pulse. Uh, protect because he want to scout what I want to go uh, scout what I want to go for Keldeo's gonna, I think Keldeo no Keldeo got defiant oh GG because I'm, I'm not come on man I'm, I'm not I'm not finna sit here and, I already know I lost but come on man that talks to he could just win and just did I'm, I'm not finna sit there <laughs> it was already over I'm not but I was not gonna sit there and let him just stay there watch the poison just eat me alive over and over again I ain't got time for that, so we go ahead and get the second battle. And obviously, I was not rage quit because I was down last Pokemon. I already lost, but I mean, for him to talk sick, I mean, he could just win. Just you know what? If you got one to three, you could just start pelting me with attacks. Eventually, Keldeo can come in and knock me out, and there you go. He didn't have to do the whole talk sick and then protect, protect. Her, the whole star thing, I don't. It's all man, because like you see, like what you see when people do certain plays, you know what I'm saying? Like. You could easily just straight up win, you know, go ahead and just finish the match off, you know what I'm saying, in a certain way. Well, what I'm trying to say is, um, Tentacruel, Earthquake, and down goes the Tentacruel. But what I was saying is that, um, he had three to my one. I definitely can't win because his Keldeo part was Scarf and I could, there was no way I could outspeed. Down goes the Espeon. He knows I have Sucker Punch. I had to be very careful about that. But do I outspeed a glass score? Let's go for Ice Punch. Actually, and uh, no, should I be trying that? No, I, I need to switch out. I need to switch out. Um, let's go Spike. He brings in his Ferrothorn. Let's go for Charge Beams. At least it powers. At least um makes my Hidden Power Ice just a tad bit stronger. A tad bit stronger. And I have Shadow Ball too. I mean, think about it. I think I outspeed Shandalure. Yeah, because it's because Spike it on. Well, Jolteon is pretty, pretty fast. Stealth Rocks. Now, let's go ahead and go for um, a Shadow Ball. Special Defense Drop. That's nice. Ah, Power Whip. So much damage. So much damage. And let's go for Thunderbolt. Now, is he real enough to go into Glasgow? No, he does not. And he takes me out with a gyro ball. Okay, what do I want to do? How do I want to handle this thing right now? It's not that fast, obviously. I could bring in Tank, go for Aura Speed, but he could bring in Glasgow and get off a of Protector, you know, that type of shenanigans. I can go out to, no, I want to keep you alive. You know what, let's go in Bishop. Let's go Bishop. Let's go Bishop. Like, and let's go for the um, Swords Dance. He got Gyro Ball, Power Whip, Lee Seed, and Stuff Rocks. There it is. Now the question is, do you want to do the whole old shenanigans um, protect? No, he does not. Crit. And down goes the Farrah Thorn. Brings in the Bray Loom. You know what? I'm just going to go for the Iron Head. Because, I mean, for me, yeah, Mop Punch. I think Mop Punch, cause I think he's faster than me anyway. So Sucker Punch would not allow me to get that first hit on him. Um... Yeah, I need, I need to make this Star Raptor 
faster instead of slower. Um, and it's, it's life format, so I need to make a choice ban. I might, I might want to make a choice ban. Probably because I got Roost over here, so I don't want to, I don't want to make it choice ban. Uh, let's go Bray Bird. I mean, I had a feeling he was going to switch. I knew he was going to switch out anyway. But look how much damage that thing does. Because I think if I was on um, the max speed, well, not max speed, if I was like a, a speed nature, I would, I think I would actually outspeed his glass score. But yeah, he just getting up enough health so he can, um, I guess live another Bray Bird. But see, Reckless Bray Bird almost takes him out. And Ice Fang will knock me out. Now let's go ahead and bring in Tank. Because I think an Ice Beam bought both of y'all. And then a Water Pose, you know, I guess can hit, can probably confuse the Bray Loom. Maybe. So let's go for the Water Pose. Earthquake, I can tell you that because I'm a tank. Brings it in. He's going to pick me to sleep. I'll let, you know what, I, I, I don't know. Should I stay in with Tank? Yeah, let's do that. Let's stay in. Let's stay in. Never mind. <laughs> Woo! Well, so crazy, man. He got mock punch, so he could bot. He could actually, um, he could actually, you know, winning. Let's go Shades. And let's go for the, um, Outrage. Put me to sleep. But I'm Lumberry, though. I'm Lumberry, though. Mop Push, I can take that. Bye bye, Bray Loom. And he would knock me out with anything he can go for because he outspeeds me, obviously. Come on, man. You can't sport. Come on, man. You know that. Well, I mean, you know, I mean, again, a dragon type Pokemon. Well, actually, it's one thing he did waste my Lumberry. But I think the best thing I need to go for Sucker Punch. If he subs up, then I, I already lost. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I left it! I won! He can't do nothing. He can't sub. He can't nothing. That's GG. Oh my goodness. The physical. Oh, it was a tie. What? Technically, it's a tie? No, I still won, but you know. He went down with a fight. But well, let me go ahead and um, fix on that real quick. Was it this? Is it this team? Yeah, it is this team. Um, I think no. I'm, I think I'm gonna leave him choice band, but I'm gonna give him um. Uh, I think I'll make him a jolly nature instead. Cause in that reckless, also life orb, it helps better. So I gotta keep it like that. Now let's go ahead and get the final battle for today with my one of my favorite OU teams, as you guys already know. Ooh, oh man, that was so nice. That was so nice. Um, maybe Greninja and then into Ferrothorn. Or maybe even um this bad boy right here, Tyranitar. But let's go, let's bring in uh you know what? Let's bring in Bishop. Let's bring in Bishop. The all powerful guard chomp. Let's go for an iron head first. Let's see what he wants to do. See if he wants to go for a swords dance, because you know you know what if you know if he's like I'm gonna sweet this guy right now with his guard jump. Let's see what he wants to do. Oh yeah, there's no music, my bad guys. I was playing with no music whatsoever. Well you probably still can't hear it though. Well you can barely hear it. Let me just talk to Vine just a tad bit. Now hit him power ice. He brings in the Frothorn to take it. Um, I definitely don't, I don't want to stay in. So let's bring in Latios and go ahead. No, he's going to get up Rocks. Yep. Let's calm mind it up right now. Lee Seed. And let's go for the default. Safeguard, Miss Spike, South Best Star. Okay, doesn't get rid of only Seed. Uh, now let's go for the Draco. And I missed Draco. Well, let's go ahead and get these rocks off my side of the field. Well, I, I don't know. I, yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. I have to. I'm still leeched, but I gotta get these rocks off my side of the field. And hit him with this Draco Meteor, even though it's not gonna do that much damage. 
Actually, I, I, I think I need to keep Latias alive right now. But then I don't want to switch in. Titar hits really hard. I don't want to switch in on that, like, bring in, like, um, Mage and get bopped. So I have to bring in now. We could bring in. Actually, probably Star Rider probably would have been a better choice because then um, Close Combat would have took him out. Let's go to High Jump Kick. And he brings in the Ferrothorn. Do not miss. And down goes the Ferrothorn. Iron Bars and Rocky Helmet damage. Brings in a Greninja. I want to keep you around. I really want to keep you around. So who do I want to just... I don't want to set nobody because I still need Talon Flame can be very, very helpful. And I need you to take care of me. I think you can at least take care of Azumaru at least. No, because you got Hidden Power Ice for you. I want to keep you around, but... Ah, oh, man, because you can at least... Dang it. You know what? We're going to have to stay in. We're going to have to stay in. He's going to go for a... Um... If he, if, if, oh, let's go for Ice Punch. I had to do it, man. I had to do it because, like, for me, I was I was confused because I mean, it was the point I didn't want to set nobody because this thing hits hard. Brave Bird. I have to because I mean, if he wanted to stay in and go for a U-turn, but I think he know that Green is not going to love a um, Brave Bird. But you know how some people play like he might want to be risky and stay in, hoping that he like be a Focus Edge if he did have like he was not life on for Focus Edge. So oh, you know I'm gonna stay in. And live this on um, Brave Bird to the face. You know what I'm saying? It's switching out. Obviously, he has Guard Charm that will definitely take this Brave Bird, I think. No, it, no it's actually on. Um, it's neutral on Guard Charm. But Titar is a whole different story. Straight up resistant. And I probably have to U turn out. But then, as you turn out to someone who's going to take a, probably a Stone Age, maybe, or something like that. Well, let's do that. At least get some damage off and then the switch in this initiative. Star Raptor or no Star Raptor? I have to bring you in now, man. As long as he missed Star on Stone Edge, he does not miss. He does not miss it. Crit and down goes you. Let's go, Titar. I mean, I'm not, not Titar. My bad. Um, um, Thunderous. Um, if he switches out, let's go for Hidden Power Ice, maybe. Yeah, let's go for Hidden Power Ice. I mean, you know that I have Hidden Power, so you know you don't want to switch in Garchomp. You definitely don't want to do that. Thunderbolt, but then he could bring in the guard chunk. Thinking, you know, you know, I don't know why, why I don't know why you would predict the Thunderbolt. I have focus. Um, I go for the focus blast, anticipating the well, he could switch into on a zoom reel and take that. Let's just go for a Thunderbolt. Let's just go for a Thunderbolt. <laughs> Let's do that. Now nah, pause until he makes a move. Okay, he decided to stay in, and I took him out with Thunderbolt. Now he's gonna because you know I'm choice guy. Switched out last time, and this that means he most likely he won this most likely, yeah, because of the fact that I had to go for hidden power on um, ice to take him out, and then he can easily switch out. Then that's it. So that was, that's a GG right there, because I mean you know playing smart for him is to switch out into probably Charizard. He can take a hidden power ice for days. A zoom real can water type same for Ninja. Then he starts off being water and dark, but it doesn't really matter. He can go for Ice Beam and take me out, but he stays in. And bye-bye, Garchomp. Well, you outsped me, so that's one thing. But Greninja, I believe, now can take me out with a Stone Edge. Oh, an Ice Beam. Hit him with that GG. And that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later. Deuces!